You can't be mad at me. I just had my root canal. The dead Victoria Castle is about to enter. Oh. <laughs> yes! She did it again! Order! Your Honor, the court is already in order. I know. All be seated. Mr. Johnny Prabhu. Mr. Johnny Bravo, did somebody call me? I did. Sorry. Sorry. Raise the right hand. No, the right hand. Oh. Not both hands, only the right. Not left, the right. Not both hands, only the right. Which right? There is only one right, that right. That's not right. Tell me which right. Just raise a hand. Not my yours. Oh, sorry. Place the left on the Bible. Why did you have a hand raised if you were to ask me to place it on the Bible? It's unbelievable. Raise the right hand and place the left on the Bible. Not my yours. Now repeat after me. Do you solemnly swear that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? No, I can't. You don't make sense. You have to. That's the law. I know the law. And it ain't about the truth. Not the truth. I'm talking about the truth. Oh my god. Okay. Do you solemnly swear that you will tell the truth, the whole truth? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can you just break it down? Do you solemnly swear? To you solemnly swear, right? Not me, you. Sorry. I solemnly swear. Put the left hand on the Bible. That you will tell the truth. Whose tooth? <laughs> it's not tooth. I'm talking about tooth. That's what I'm asking. Whose tooth? He is talking about the truth. That I will tell the truth. The whole tooth and nothing but the truth. The whole tooth and nothing but the truth. Finally. Do you know why you're here? No, I don't. Okay. Mr. Callow, speak up to your case. He stole my shoe because of it I lost the tennis finals. Johnny Bravo and Tony Callow were the finalists in a local tennis tournament. That particular day was the final match between them. Tony Callow wears his sentimental shoes and plays all the matches. On the day of the final match, he could not find one of his shoes. So he put only one shoe on and played the match. Needless to say, he was limping the whole game and fell down while playing the last shot. When he fell down, he saw the shoe near the duffel bag of Johnny Bravo, his opponent. You can imagine what happened after that. Okay, do you have a lawyer? No. Do you want me to assign you a lawyer? No. I saw it on TV one time that this guy was arguing his own case. I want to do that too, you know, fight my own case. <laughs> no problem, buddy. Order! Your Honor, the court is already in order. I know. Where's the prosecutor?
Why are you late this time? Do you really want to ask me that question? <laughs> oh no, you may start arguing. Just ask him. Your Honor, we are looking at a dangerous criminal here. He is accused of committing the heinous crime of stealing that shoe. Take it easy, Bond. It's just a shoe. But that shoe caused Tony Callow to lose the game. The final game. Okay, so tell me about this game. Is it a national level game? No. Is it a state level game? No. Is it a county or a city level game? No. Oh, for God's sake, what level is it? It's our housing community game. How many houses in your community? Two, if you don't consider the leading markets. Your Honor, why are you drifting away from the case? Order! Your Honor, the court is already in order. The accused, Johnny Bravo, deserves to be punished for the heinous crime of stealing and conspiring. I recommend that he receive at least 15 years in prison. Since it has been proven beyond doubt that the accused Johnny Bravo is guilty under sections, sections, I don't remember, but he is guilty of stealing and conspiring. Hence, I sentence him to 15 years of prison. Oh God, please do something.